And then the last is the king of all the disaster recovery plan tests. That is the full interruption test. This is the only real test. Everything else is just a simulation. It just comes close in some cases, but it's not a real test. In this case, you pull the plug. Literally pull the plug on the primary data center and recover at the alternate site. You must have prior upper management support. If they don't know you're going to do this, you're going to have a lot of questions to answer. Make sure that all cases and all phases of the disaster recovery plan is fully supported by upper management. This is going to be full interruption and it can cause a substantial business process interruption. So make sure when you do this, number one, you know it's going to work or at least you have strong suspicions it's going to work. But even as it's working, the system is going to be down. The business is going to be down and business processes will be interrupted until you successfully complete the test. That's the best way to test your disaster recovery plan.